These are five pro tips you absolutely must know before the 2025 bull run. Guys, this is some serious stuff. And I know I've said that in a lot of these videos now, but because it is, right? We are ramping up to this new bull run. And for those of you who haven't had a bull run before, or for those of you who went through the last bull run and it was chaotic, a lot of this will resonate with you, but you obviously know from first person experience, this is so important to get right. I am a firm believer the 2025 bull run will be the last somewhat steep run we find after that. A lot of projects are gonna be out the window. These chances we're gonna to have to find these amazing multiples are gonna be pretty well diminished and washed out. So hopefully you understand the importance of this video. And the number one tip I have to begin with is if you fail to plan, you're gonna to plan to fail. Let that sink in, okay? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So you must come up with a strategy for each and every single one of your projects, but overall as well. Guys, how many times have I said this on the channel now? Take the time to evaluate your current stance on the market and on your personal portfolio, and then go into each project and actually figure out when you should be buying and selling based on your expected return on investments for that project or just what suits your overall portfolio. For example, if you're someone who wants 100X, there's no point in you buying Bitcoin because we all know Bitcoin ain't gonna 100X in the next bull run unless something drastic in the economies happen, right? So. You have to be very well aware of this situation. And so, you know, for those people out there buying projects like Cardano, wanting a 50X, that ain't gonna happen, guys. But also you must take into consideration your risk. If you cannot afford to have, let's just say you invested $10,000, if you can't have that $10,000 pot slash tomorrow to $5,000, that's gonna kill you and eat you up inside. You need to reassess your risk and what projects you're buying because of that. The lower the market cap, the newer the project, the riskier it becomes. So evaluate your overall portfolio and your own personal goals and then evaluate per project, okay? It's very, very important. If you guys need help, of course, I am here and I do make videos on this all the time. Now, number two, what's the next most important thing you have to do? Well, it's actually honing in to the herd mentality, not fighting it. What do I mean by this? Well, of course, we all know. What's that common phrase? Beat the herd, right? You don't want to be the someone, if we're talking about, you know, a herd of sheep, for example, you don't want to be the last straggler. You want to be that person at the very, very front that gets there first, that gets in, buys the projects, and then can sell on the people coming in last, right? So obviously, you know, messages, important information about projects, things are propagated through, you know, the influencer tier list, the kind of low, small influencers like myself, whose job it is to really get in there and find the information. And then the bigger guys typically find it later on. But if you're someone who's extracting all the news about projects last, or, you know, feeding off those large influencers, guys, you're gonna be that last sheep to the herd. And guess what? You can actually become the first person in that herd, and how? Right, how do we do this? Well, it's very simple. We're not trying to find the intricacies in projects. We're not trying to go in there and, you know, oh my God, we have to look at the team and the, and the tokenomic structure and da, 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 da. None of that stuff really is too important. Yes, don't get me wrong. It's like critical. I talk about it all the time, right? It's part of my research methods. But if you're someone who's an armchair investor, right? And you're someone who wants to just do the least amount of do your own research as possible, then it's very simple. Follow where that herd is gonna go and then don't have to go anywhere near it. Just walk the different direction and wait for them to get there, okay? If that kind of makes sense. So what you're gonna do in this case is find the narratives of the project. Essentially, is it AI? Is it gaming? Is it the metaverse? Is it layer one? Find where it sits in these narratives and how prominent it is. For example, there might be a narrative of AI, but it might be a layer one project as well that also does gaming. And so those three different narratives are different things altogether. And so obviously when the money does flow eventually to those narratives, you're going to already be standing at the corner waiting for those people to dump on them. And also with that, find the meme. So what is that point of difference within the project itself that will make that herd of sheep actually go, well, this is the project we want to all go to. For example, if there's like a hundred layer ones out there, what makes this layer one so appealing and therefore more sheep or more demands that I want to obviously go and buy it. And of course, one of the most important things you have to do, first of all, is look at the team. You don't want to be looking at all this sort of stuff and the team has had a notorious streak of, you know, being involved in scams or pump and dumps, okay? So that's very, very important. From there, we look at things like, you know, the, the token structure and stuff like that, okay? So that's tip number two. And tip number three is focus your buys when the market is down on the weekly, not up, okay? It's very easy for us and for those of you who have been in previous bull cycles to know that this feeling of FOMO or hype tends to grab you by the literal bulls. And what happens? You end up buying when the market's up or green and you always tend to regret it because there is always pullbacks. It's just the law of nature. What goes up must come down. And so when you have these pullbacks and retracements, 
you can always bet pretty well almost every time that you will be able to buy in that same token cheaper than when you bought it if you bought on a green day. So I'm telling you right now, come up with a clear strategy as to when you're gonna go and obviously DCA, right? So obviously you're gonna to wanna to go and focus your attention. In my opinion, when Bitcoin is down on the seven day and not the daily, and that's a good indication to check your rolls. Now we all know about the waterfall effect, okay? So the waterfall effect, you know, money flows from Bitcoins to the high alts, to the mid alts, to the low alts, but ultimately, for the most part, you should be checking your rolls every single day, no more than morning, midday, and afternoon or evening, and then assessing which projects are down. You might wanna follow a strict weekly DCA on the exact day, or do what I do, which I find is the best, which is just simply look when the projects are down the most and then at that, which are the cheapest possible projects, okay? Tip number four, this is a very powerful one that people just overlook because it just sounds so obvious. And that is only buy the projects you are comfortable with and you have conviction in. So this in part has to play with you doing your own research. Of course, if you just do what I said before and just look at the meme, the narrative and the team, that's very, very minimal. Yes, that will do the job obviously in 2025, but moving forward past that point in time, it's gonna really come down to the more granular information. And really you should be looking into as much detail as possible because ultimately if you have conviction, if you believe in the whole philosophy and the idea of that project, when it comes time for FUD, you know, I tend to hate the word FUD because I get it sometimes over on my channel and FUD or fear, uncertainty, and doubt can be misused because it's thrown around so much. Sometimes FUD or accusations a project actually isn't doing that good or has a serious concern. People say, oh, it's FUD, don't talk about it, it's FUD. That's a coping mechanism. FUD sometimes can be legitimate and you should always take into consideration concerns raised from someone who obviously isn't a troll, okay? He's a genuine researcher. Take it on board and assess, but you should ultimately know about this before you place your conviction and trust into a project. And saying that, also, and this is so important, don't be in bed with your damn project, okay? Just like you wouldn't go pick someone up off the street now, at least I hope you're in this position, and you wouldn't sleep with them without knowing who they are or what they have, essentially, if you know what I mean. So make sure you do your vetting first, make sure you assess the situation before you jump in bed with any sort of cryptocurrency, and it's akin to life. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I mean here. So in saying that, gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them. So. You obviously want to be prepared for the FUD or the concerns raised by individuals, but also, you know, if these are things that you already have known about, it's going to, you know, pretty well be okay for the most part, unless this scares the market. You have to know when to hold and when to fold. I had someone on my channel, you know, a couple of weeks back say, Kyron, it's easy for you to say, you know, know when to hold, know when to fold, but what do you actually do in that case? When is enough enough? And it's hard for me to say, there's so many variables that play into it. Look at Algorand for a prime example, like any serious investor or trader knows that you cannot always go through with your gut or conviction you have to obviously assess the situation of course that's why i'm here i'll provide you guys with information when that happens but this all comes down to doing your own research and number five guys this one is a really a personal one as well because i had this issue definitely in the last bull run i had this issue for about one and a half damn years straight and that's don't spend all the time in the world on your phone or on your computer glued to crypto this was said to me a hundred damn times when I first got into crypto and I just kind of didn't worry about it because I was like, oh, I want to keep checking my account. Guys, you cannot sacrifice a, a life. You got to zoom out, look out of the telescope for once and live, you know, live and breathe, live your life. You can't be glued to your phone. I think max you should check your phone every single day. And this is like max is morning once to check your account midday and also afternoon like on your lunch breaks and when you come home from work for example if you're checking it more than that if you're checking it at work if you're feeling like nervous when you're on you know when you're at you know at work doing something where you're not customer facing or even if you are damn customer facing and you're checking your phone that is so damn bad if you're sacrificing time with your significant other or your friends or your family and it's impacting you trust me right now you will lose connections with the people you love or like to hang out with and that, I'm telling you right now, isn't worth, well, possibly not even getting a couple million dollars. Most of us won't make more than a couple hundred thousand dollars at best. So we have to make sure that we're not sacrificing our lives for a trade-off on money. So again, we're all going to die one day, as sad as that is. I am a big pessimist, aren't I? So we have to make sure we're living our life every single day. What do they say? You know, if I gave you $10 million today, but said you couldn't wake up tomorrow, would you take it? Well, most people are going to say no. So that's how valuable living in the moment really is. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. These are five tips I would seriously suggest you consider and take on board. I talk about these on the channel all the damn time. So if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. I do two videos every single day and hit the like button if you did find some value. Take good care of yourselves. Talk to you all soon. Bye.